So ladies and gentlemen, in the 1960s and the 1970s, there was various actors who looked beautiful but couldn't act, and Robert Redford was one of them. But the poor man's Robert Redford, for a lot of people, was this guy. He starred in a, a series with Bruce Lee called Long Street in the 70s, just a few years after Beneath the, the Planet of the Apes, where he played, uh, again, the, the second major human to deal with the apes, besides Charlton Heston, who was killed off in the second movie. So today we're talking about the guy that my mother uh, said is all face, no act, and... Uh, he was an okay actor, but a beautiful man, one of the most handsome men in Hollywood history, James Franciscus. Now, James Grover Franciscus was an American actor, known for his roles in feature films and in six television series. Mr. Novak, Naked City, The Investigators, Longstreet, Doc Elliott, and Hunter. Now, born in Clayton, Missouri, to Lorraine near Grover and John Allen Franciscus, who was killed during World War II when James was nine. In 57... He received a Bachelor of Arts degree in English and Theater Arts from Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut, where he graduated magna cum laude. He was a classmate of Dick Cavett and Bill Hennott. At Yale, he joined Delta Kappa Epsilon fraternity. Now, his first major role was as Detective Jim Hallerhan in a half-hour version of ABC's Naked City. Franciscus guest starred on the CBS military comedy drama Hennessy, starring Jackie Cooper, and on the NBC drama about family conflicts in the American Civil War entitled The Americans. CBS soon cast him in the lead in the 13-week series The Investigators, which aired from October to December 61. He played the insurance investigator Russ Andrews with James Philbrook as a co-star. Franciscus was also cast in a role of Tom Grover in a 61 episode of The Empty Heart on his, of the CBS anthology series The DuPont Show with June Allison. He performed in numerous feature films and TV programs throughout the 60s, most notably a minor role in an episode of The Twilight Zone titled Judgment Night with Nehemiah Persoff and Patrick Whitney. In 59, uh, he also had a major role in uh, episodes of Alfred Hitchcock uh, Presents, uh, Four Detectives Later, and Summer Shade. Now, he started to get this a movie called I Pass for White in 1960, and in 63, he appeared as Mike Norris in the episode Hang by One Hand on the NBC medical drama about psychiatry, The Eleventh Hour. He also guest starred on Combat, The FBI, and Miracle of the White Stallions. Now, he was getting a lot of parts that kind of match his rugged look and kind of uh, not say a California look, but you, you can figure it from there. Now, Franciscus may be best remembered for his title roles in NBC's Mr. Novak, 63 to 65, and ABC's Longstreet from 71 to 72, which included his blind character taking martial arts lessons in Jeet Kune Do from Bruce Lee as Li Shung in four episodes. In this one, he played an officer of the law, an investigator, who eventually becomes blind, kind of a rip-off to the Daredevil comic books. Now, he also had a strong vocal performance in the movie version of Jonathan Livingston Seagull in 73. Along with Lloyd Bridges, he served as a host of the syndicated real-life adventure series Waterworld, which aired from 72 to 75. In 77, he starred in his fifth television series, The Short-Lived Hunter, not to be confused with the other hunter, as a secret agent. Now, he was also frequently seen in feature films of the 60s and 70s, such as Young Blood Hawk, Slow Treasure, The Amazing Dobermans, Marooned, Beat the Planet of the Apes, City on Fire, not the Canadian version, when Time Ran Out, The Valley of uh, Guanji, and The Greek Cut Tycoon. Over the years, Francisco has found film work with Italian cinema. In 71, he accepted a lead role in Dairy Argento's second fil film, The Cat O' Nine Tales. In 79, he appeared in Antonio Magadetti's uh, Killer Fish, and in 1980, he starred in director, director Enzo G. Castellari's Jaws-inspired Great White, a.k.a. The Last Shark. Now, a lot of people looked at Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, some of the major characters that were presented, especially, uh, you know, played by DiCaprio and Luke Perry and Brad Pitt, all a lot to the Franciscus uh, character. I think Tarantino was heavily influenced by uh, James in a lot of ways, but he hasn't really gone on the record as to say what was, was his major influence. Now, he continued appearing in roles on the screen and television. When less important roles were offered, Franciscus turned to writing screenplays and producing. In 91, the year of his death, he worked as associate producer and screenwriter in the film 29th Street, starring Antti Lepaglia and Danny Aiello. 
it was his final project. Now, the best way to describe his acting style, I don't even have you how to describe it. He was such stunningly beautiful, a handsome man that it was very confusing because you didn't know like what fear was or anger was. You look at Benita the Planet of the Apes, he came across almost like a, a character you would see in a Marvel or DC comic book with no personality. Like my dad always said, he looked like the elongated man from Justice League of America. And, you know, looking back at what my dad said, my dad didn't say it as an insult. He just seemed to be a generic, handsome man who could fit any role. And like he said, he was a good actor in certain roles, but I never really dug him because I had Richard Chamberlain. I had, uh, you know, uh, Jeff Bridges. I had, uh, you know, even, uh, you know, Paul Newman and Robert Redford going on. It'd be nice to him if we would have got a Western, like a sheriff in a small town, like a kind of a tab hunter role. I would like to see that. Now... In the summer of 56, while working as a stage manager at a Cape Playhouse in Dennis, Massachusetts, he dated his apprentice, Jane Fonda. In her autobiography, My Life So Far, Fonda identifies Franciscus as the boy to whom she lost her cherry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On March 28, 1960, Franciscus is married to Kathleen Kitty Wellman, a daughter of film director William A. Wellman. They had four children. Jamie, Kelly, Corey, and Joe Jolie. After the couple's divorce, he married Carla uh, Ankeny in 1980. They were still married at the time of Franciscus's 91 death from emphysema in North Hollywood, California, at the young age of 57. So, uh, film roles, Four Boys in a Gun, The Mugger, I Pass for White, The Outsider, Miracle of the White Stallions, Young Blood Hawk, Snow Treasure, The Valley of the Guanji, Maroon, The Great Sex War, Hellboats, the Beneath the Planet of the Apes, of course, playing Brent. The Caroline Tales, Kidnapped. Jonathan Livingston Seagull, where he played Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Aloha Means Goodbye, The Amazing Dormant, The Greek Tycoon. Concord uh, Affair 79, uh, City on Fire. Uh, let me double check this, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is our, yes, it's our Canadian movie. My apologies. I, I apologize heavily for this. Now, Killer Fish, When Time Ran Out, Night Kill, The Last Shark. Butterfly, uh, that movie, of course, with Pizzadora and Orson Welles, The Great Transport, and uh, 29th Street, who's also a social producer and story or writer. TV, Studio One, Have Gun, Will Travel, The Silent Service, Naked City, 39 Rolls, playing Detective, Detective Jimmy Hallerhan, Tales of Wells Fargo, Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse, The Whirly Birds, The Twilight Zone, Father Knows Best, The Rifleman, Dead Valley Days, The Millionaire, uh, Wagon Train, Hennessy, Black Saddle, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Rawhide, The Deputy, Alfred Hitchcock Presents Again, The DuPont Show, General Electric Theater, The Americans, The Investigators, Ben Casey, Dr. Kildare, The Eleventh Hour, uh, Mr. Novak, 60 Episodes, Bob Hope Presents The Chrysler Theater, 12 O'Clock High, The FBI, Combat, Judge for the Defense, Shadows Over Elveron, The FBI, Heidi, The Television Film, which also was a producer, Trial Run, Night Slaves, Jane Eyre, the TV film, who was also a producer, Long Street, 24 episodes. Don't understand why it was cancelled, because it was it was strong ratings in Canada internationally. Gold Story, The 500-Pound Jerk, a TV film, The Red Pony, Doc Elliott, The Dream Makers, The Trial of Sha Chaplin Jensen, Insight, A Girl Named Sooner, where he was an uncredited producer, One of My Wives is Missing, uh, Hunter, The Man Inside, Secrets of Three Hungry Wives, The Pirate, Puzzle, Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, where he played uh, John, John F. Kennedy, and Secret Weapons, where he played Colonel Victor Quidenko. Now, that Jackie Bouvier Kennedy movie was quite interesting, and i tell you why. Because uh, he played the Greek tycoon, and this movie, it was Jacqueline Smith that, uh, that uh, uh, put, it, put it all together as Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy, and she didn't look at it. Rod Taylor as well. And Jacqueline Smith got a Golden Globe nomination for this movie. Now, The Greek Tycoon, again, was the uh, the other version of, uh, of that. The, uh, the, the uh, uh, what do you, you call the, uh, uh, where he played President James Cassidy. It's sort of based on the Onassis-Bouvier Onassis, uh, relationship, but this was more of a, like a lose, he said. He said, we're not doing what the producer said. 
We're not doing a film about Aristotle Onassis as a personification of all Greek uh, tycoons. And of course, Jacqueline Bissett played it. But that Jacqueline Smith, Jacqueline movie, Kennedy movie, you can find it. It's quite interesting because, you know, uh, Jacqueline Smith, very underrated actress. So ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're doing here, we're a tribute to various uh, TV actors. And James Franciscus, again, he played himself but it was like I said, he saw Hampson. It was it was kind of distracting. It would like to be interesting to see if he would have lived. Would he have done, let's say, episode episodic soap opera? I think he would have been quite good. Like you know, a, a, a patriarch of a, a major city went into soap. Uh, I'd like to see it. So James Franciscus again, Beneath the Planet of the Apes, one of the first movies I ever paid to see. I was quite young, and uh, like I I told my dad, is that Robert Redford? That's that's how much I thought he looked like Robert Redford. So. Take it as you will. So if you like what you're doing, give us a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And don't forget, as we say in Northern New Brunswick during hockey season, keep your stick in the ice. Bye.